video 289. In the last week, Jody and the team have fitted the tailplane to Lancaster Just Jane. The tailplane is made up of one donor part, the horizontal stabiliser from the BBMF Lancaster. The rest are all Just Jane's components. PA474 has a new set of stabilisers fitted last year. Just Jane stabilisers will now go through the process of restoring them to airworthy standard. Is this the last screen you'll have to make? Jacob the Apprentice had just completed his first airworthy component for the week. Right, so these are now complete. And yeah, so this is what you saw me doing yeah. last time, riveting this all up. It's got my first bit with a green label on, so Good. it's very exciting. So yeah. it's ready to be fitted to the wing unit yeah. when it when they need it. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. How many of those did you do? Two. Two. The other one's down there, but it's got a uh, support plate that needs it needs riveting too. But that happens when it gets riveted to the wings. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well done, Jacob. Cheers. Sorry. John and Keith are on inspection. Strengthening plate for the end of the. Um, the rear spar web. Oh yeah. The original. Yes. It's the old one underneath, is it? Yeah, the old one underneath, yeah. Because it's um got a big scratch here. Yeah, which is pretty deep. But worst thing that somebody's um had had a rivet gun bounce off the rivet. <laughs> so that's, that's that's put stress on the metal so that's and that, um, just that alone would get um, disqualifies it from being airworthy. Yeah, because it, 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 it's a fracture point in, in, in the metal. Oh, it's a stress point in the metal, and if you if you try to blend that out, you probably go beyond the limits to that. It, it's mostly for that because it's the, the the shock of the rivet gun hitting it. Because yeah. you, usually, when you if you put a rivet in, like a dome head rivet or a mush head rivet. You can get a smiley face on it if you, if, if you keep it. Yeah. Yeah. If if, if you got the, the the rivet snap slightly cocked over, you can put a smiley face in it. That's oh, it. Yeah. Forget it. Yeah. It, it, it it's had it. That that will put a, um, a, a a stress into the metal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but somebody somebody's bounced off of that. Yeah. Oh, flipping heck. Yeah. So on these larger holes, do you put what Keith had in the the. Um, yeah, the pins. The, the, the pins. Jig. Yeah, because on, on on the top of here is is them steel bits that come from Mario Paul. Oh yeah. And then you, 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 you've got the um, the, the, the pins. This, 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 this is the, the the pin that joins the centre section to the outer wing, and that's the the, the one that goes into the Yeah, the difficult one. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. And then these ones here are for the joint plane. How would you both webs to go on. How would you drill through them just with a drill straight away or would Ooh, you no, go no, no, find no. the centre? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you put put put, put a, um, a drill guard in there and drill a small smaller yeah. hole and then open it up. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay, thanks John. Let you right. get on. I think Jacob wants to have a word. Morning. 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 That thing, the uh, glider tow. Yeah. There's a bit that hangs so I can't finish these off. And then they've gone away to get painted, that one and that one, and those two. So Mike's doing them today. So then I'll get these painted next week. Yeah. And then it's ready to uh, rip it up. Rip it together, yeah. Yeah. I got some old video out of um, the wind deflectors. Yes. When they was taking them off, when Jack was taking them off. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was, when I was looking at you doing that, I was thinking that the formers yeah. go on the no, they, they don't. They go in, go they in go between. between. Yeah. yeah, and I realised why. Yeah. If they wanted to take it off like they did up there, yeah. they'd have to finish off 
take it off there. Yeah, what they did on that one was they took took it off yeah. and then put you know them little bits of plastic you get when you go to M you just go to MFI and get your kitchen yeah. Yeah. fill the holes in. Yeah. They filled them with those. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they were all, when we took these skins off, yeah. they were all in there. Oh were they, yeah. So we had to pop all them out. Yeah. We can rivet it on, the skins, we can rivet them on before even worried about that because it goes in between. It doesn't yeah. it doesn't attach to anything that's already on the uh, that's uh, holding yeah. the skin on. Yeah. I think that's the plan. Yeah. Dave's tried to he's riveted those two on last couple of days. Oh yeah. So yeah there's got those those two riveted and that one's riveted on. He did that did pretty that one yesterday. Yeah. Stop thin one done. Yeah, I see that, yeah. And then he's done some of the just the downwards on the, the formers yeah. on this one and then he's done the formers and what the one string on this one. Yeah. And he's got all the top skins done, hasn't he? Yeah, they've I've just got the just like the painters this morning. Yeah. So that everything everything's painted, there's only one skin left to paint. Sorry, one, that one. Yeah. Plus the three we haven't even started doing the three go underneath yeah. but we can't get to them because of that framework inside yeah but they'll, oh. i think they'll get done when we finish riveting everything else inside and then we don't need the framework in there yeah and then we can do them yeah tip it on its side and then put them through because yeah. if you look at the photos that's what yeah. they did they yeah. tip the fuse lines on its side to finish the bottom skins yeah. off yeah. i just wonder about this don't put the skins on this floor. I mean, it'll, be on, it'll go on to um, you know, formers of some sort. Yeah. Yeah, because it has to be a certain height so that we can get it, you know, and get yeah. and work on it. Yeah, it's not yeah. too low, but... I yeah. spoke to Keith about the progress board. You know, if you, you'd end up with a board the whole size of this if you put all the parts on. Yeah. 15, 15 parts to that rib. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just a, a rough idea. Yeah. Yeah. Wait right till there's just about four pieces left on there. <laughs> oh no, they're all stay on there. They'll just gradually turn from red to green. No. Oh, they're going to green, are they? Yeah, they'll go to green, and then I we see. know when we come, yeah. it'll be a ready reference. You know, yeah. they're all done, yeah. and they should be on the rack, and then they'll they'll be in green, and then yeah. any red. So bit, these in green here. They need to, they, they're <coughs> so they, what these green, you've got a green tick and a green circle, what's the difference there? I didn't put the circles on, I don't know, John's put them on. Oh. So I don't know what that is. The, the green ticks, as they don't need fettling, yeah. they just need prepping for painting and that. Yeah. yeah. And it should all go green when it when it's all all painted. It'll be all green. It'll all, it'll all go to green. Yeah. Right, thanks, Keith. all these boards up, use the skids. <coughs> Did they sandblast all right these? Did what mate? Did they sandblast all right? Yeah. And so you got a blue ticket on, so they're, they're okay then are they? Yeah, just need paint. Oh good. That's all of them. Yeah, they all come up all right. Yeah. All the corrosion they had on them, look, you see, it's all gone. So it was just very... It's just where the metal was sitting on it, it was deposits, metal deposits on the surface. Yeah. So when it was blasted, it all came off. Because that's where the um, cutters go, no, cable cutters, yeah. They, they were steel onto the aluminium. The, the actual pods are steel, yeah. yeah. They, they, they they fit on the inside. Yeah. So that's all gone as well. Then. Yeah. 
It just went and corroded there. Because it had steel screws in there and then the French had fitted a, an aluminium blanking plate over yeah. the top. Yeah. Well, we're talking about filling these. We're going to fill all them rivets, holes. Yeah. And um, they're going to put it back to original. When they put the pods back in, they'll put a, a fabric patch over it as it was yeah. during the war. Yeah. So that's like back over to the a, gum port. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, a, just, just a fabric patch. Bit, yeah. Because then that's how they flew. Yeah. And then if it ever encountered a, a cable, the yeah. cable would go through the fabric. Yeah. Well, that's a, a good saver, isn't it? Because that would be time getting those yeah, made. Yeah, cost a lot of money to make them. Yeah. 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 Oh, good news. They're, they're about to be rolled. Yeah. Or, or, uh, or break press. Good. <laughs> it kind of leaves it, Tim. Um, it kind of leaves the metal as a kind of a, a shine on it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just a lot of sintered. Yeah. A lot of sintered from it. It's just where it's um, abraded the surface. Yeah. But it gives it a good key for the paint. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have them painted now, then. Yeah, well, but, uh, Mr. Painter Man now comes in. Yeah. This way we can uh, do it because of the temperature. Yeah. That's the problem at the moment. Yeah. Temperature. Oh, okay. it, it can't paint because it's, it's yeah. too cold in the. Uh, Why is the. <laughs> Two damp patches on the floor. Where's the the uh, the oxidine been washed off? Oh, I'm sure. Oh. Oh. Um, have we spoken to Bob about these rivets? Yeah. Oh, you put them in before you haven't painted, would you? Sorry. Put them in before you haven't painted. Oh yeah, well the paint you won't see them once you're done. Oh yeah. Oh good. For last week I've been talking about the controls inside the horizontal stabiliser. These were the L-shaped fulcrum mechanism controlling the rudder. This is the output end connected. So, if we look at the midsection of the fuselage, which is NX611, not yet restored. Moving further back to the rear fuselage, which is a donor part from KB976 Lancaster. And on to the other donor part, the horizontal stabiliser from PA474. to NX611 Airweather Rudder and Fin. Moving to the crew doorway. This is last week without the tailplane. And this week with the tailplane fitted. The two red connecting tubes, top one first, connects to the rudder, passes into the horizontal stabiliser, connects to the two 90 degree fulcrum leverages and onto the rudders. The red lower tube goes underneath the tailplane and is connected to the arm 
of the port and starboard elevator tin coupling tube. Unfortunately, I was unable to get to East Kirkby last week when the fitting of the tailplane took place. If you go to video 183, this will show you the tailplane being fitted on the 14th of February 2023. This is a small part of the video. A link is in the description column to video 183. Thanks for watching. Uh, leading edge forward. The team has started to weatherproof all the joints around the tailplane. Saying to Keith, from here it really glistens yeah. from the oh, sandblasting. That's yeah. a sandblasting. Yeah, yeah. Just take the next to the nothing off. Huh? It just take the next to the nothing off. It, 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 it does give a good surface for key yeah. paint on. If, if you have got any problem, that is to be bad. little piece of stringer here. They've well, blown straight through. Yeah. Oh, that's what the sunblast they did, was it? Yeah. So where the corrosion was, it just it. went straight through it. Yeah. Mm, it just shows. Yeah. But that, that it didn't look. It, it looked bad, but it didn't look too bad. No. Yeah, it's got a boof. Oh. Yeah. You can use one of them. Yeah. Same, same way it's eaten away the, the edge of it and cracked it as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What part is that off for one of the... Oh, that's off that, that... Well, it's a, underneath them things. It's yeah. a little, little bit under, in, in between two access panels. Oh. Coming on. <laughs> <laughs> 